Today you're gonna to learn about what a Cobb angle is and how large does the angle have to be to fall into a specific category of scoliosis and also how you can affect that Cobb angle by proper or improper x-rays. When a diagnosis of scoliosis is made, typically the doctor or the, or the orthopedist or the radiologist will give you something called a Cobb angle. A Cobb angle is the measurement standard that's used to measure a scoliosis. And typically what it's measuring is the tilt of one vertebra or one bone of the spine versus another. And these Cobb angles are typically measured in degrees, meaning 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, 40 degrees, and so forth. This angle is what determines whether you're a mild scoliosis or a moderate scoliosis to severe scoliosis in the categories, mild being less than 25, moderate between 25 and 45, and then severe 45 or greater. And this Cobb angle can unfortunately be an influence by your position of your x-ray, meaning that the, typically the x-ray should be taken a very specific way to get appropriate measurement of this Cobb angle. Most scoliosis x-rays should be taken standing, um, whether it's taken from the front or from the back, it doesn't really matter too much, doesn't change the angle too much, but it should be taken standing standing, typically with no shoes on, and having the patient stand just off the bucket, meaning not leaning against the back of the bucket or where the x-ray machine is, because a scoliosis patient has uh, egg uh, rib ro rotation or rig deformity. So if they lean back, they actually create some rotation, which can alter the angle that's being measured. The second thing is that it should always be taken standing. It should never be taken laying down. If you lay down, you actually remove pressure or terror or tension off the spine. That removal of pressure will actually reduce the curve as well. And their arms should be completely relaxed. There should be no arm positions moved in a different position because that would alter the angle too. The more consistent these x-rays are taken, the more reliable the x-rays or the measurements would be from x-ray to x-ray to x-ray to see if the curve is actually worsening or if it's not worsening or if it's getting better. You can actually, actually make a better uh, assessment regarding your treatment options if the x-rays are taken consistently. That's the reason why when they measure Cobb angles and they're looking at two different x-ray systems from two different doctors, they assume that an x-ray angle or a Cobb angle has about a five degree error rate. So that means an angle of 45 measured by one doctor on one x-ray is the same if, if another doctor measured it at 50 because there is an error of measurement because of these little inconsistencies that can occur. However, gross inconsistencies like standing versus laying down, you know, arm position not being the same, leaning back against the body could actually change the angle greater than that error rate of five degrees. So therefore, if you're getting scoliosis x-rays, making sure they're done correctly is important. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you'd like to hear about other topics and information on scoliosis, type in the comments below and let us know. And finally, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when we publish content. Thanks.